unscripted, unedited, uneducated, unconventional, uncensored. Welcome to Elimination Podcast. Welcome to Elimination. I am your host uh, here with my dad Dave. Howdy. And cousin Pauline. Hello. Um, do you want to say anything, Dave, about the previous episode? Yeah. <laughs> Go on. It was a car crash. It should never have gone out. I, I, was, I was all for deleting it and doing another one. But, but we're, we're all in this was, together. It was embarrassingly awful. And whose fault is it? Who is to blame? You and Michael. Whoa, oh. whoa, uh, whoa, oh, Thank hey. you for not including oh. me in that. <laughs> um, why? Well, you're just too loud. You got out of hand. Well, okay. These are the reasons it, it was pretty, you know. In your opinion. It wasn't as good. One, you invited Michael. I did. Two, it was on his 40th birthday. Three, he was on his way to the pub. Four, yeah, but I can't he was sweating it. like a pig. On his way out of the pub, he sounded like. But... Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we're all in this together, aren't we, eh? <laughs> all, you know, but we did go to the pub after that episode, didn't we? Yeah. What a night. It was a strange one, wasn't it? It was. Especially for a Monday. Zambuka's. Yeah, you used to bang over, you? I think I've still got that, yeah, Morgan Freeman going on. <laughs> Looked like stiff wind would blow him over. <laughs> We only went for one or two. Yeah, cool. yeah three hours later, four oh, hours later. Yeah. Shots. The Vixter was not happy with me when oh. I got home. I was in the doghouse. Yeah, yeah. I almost crushed the cat to death as well. He was on the bed. I didn't see him. Oh, poor Hamlet. Yeah. Well, you know, but we live and learn, don't we? Eh? Yeah, we definitely learned something there. We did. What did you learn, Dave? I learned that Michael was never going to be in the podcast again. <laughs> A lot it, of people probably miss him, though. They might have found it really funny. I, I said it's like, with Michael on the podcast, it's like having a drunk monkey in the room. <laughs> like, That's an insult to a drunk monkey. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. So, but the big news, the big news that we've got is it is the quarterfinal. Ooh. We made it. We we made it to now. And it, again, the draw is completely random. Uh, I put out um, a post on Facebook of all the film posters of what's left and people were going, where's uh, T2? Where's Forrest Gump? I reckon you can um, make an eight as good as Air 8. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Out. I, I think you could. Well. T2. Forrest Gump. Six yeah. Sense. Yeah. Chris Hayward said, um, where's Species? <laughs> oh, God, what's that? Paul, Paul would have Titanic in there. Oh, I would have Titanic. Let's start again. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start it's again. It's all gone tits up. It's all the wrong ones. No, it's not. There's a few in there that I really absolutely love. Yeah. But then when, Good you know, fellas. having having the odd episode where Wifey was involved yeah. or where Mike was turn up. Plus it. You never it's... know two great ones. Should I just run through the eight, Bob? Yeah, go for it, Dave. Right. The eight are Fargo, Jurassic Park, Seven, Home Alone, Sleepers, this Boy's Life, Shawshank Redemption, and Pulp Fiction. Still a good eight. Oh, it's a great eight. A yeah, eight, it is. Yeah. It is. Hate for late. Yeah. I wonder if there's anybody out there who hasn't seen any of those films. Impossible. Even I've seen them, so. Yeah, only and for I this. Seen that. No, no. <laughs> there's a couple that I like to Have watch you watched Pan's them. Labyrinth yet? No. You've got to watch Pan's Labyrinth. Yeah, I haven't watched that yet. Is that, um, I'm just looking at the board where we've got the, um, the results written down. Is it that the first one drawn out wins every time? What? The first one drawn out. How do you know what was drawn no, out first? Because always just fights oh, the, the winner See, the, the, the winner goes on the left, you oh, fool. Oh, okay. what an idiot, Bob and Don. That's sweet. Yeah, that was just Yeah, every right. time, yeah. Bob. <laughs> yeah. Let's have a look. 32, 48. All down this side and yeah. all. 54 times, that's happened. That's Clever, a miracle. that is. Clever. That, oh, I didn't look at the previous so one. So we don't have to show. Whoever draws out first wins. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, it's talking of the draw, Dave. I'm going to have oh. one. Paulie's going to pick one out. This is, this is, I'm nervous. 
I've got clammy hands for You've always got clammy hands. <laughs> yeah, that's true, that's true. Am I going looking yeah, now? Yeah, go on. Ready? Oh, it's like poker, look, she's... Yeah, I know. No one it's it. the Queen of Arts. Oh! <laughs> oh! Pulp Fiction. Pulp Fiction. Oh, oh hello. Hello. <laughs> Shall I tell you how Pulp Fiction got here? In the first round, it beat Ghost 3-0. Yeah. Like Ghost. Second round, it beat Arlington Road 3-0. Wow. And the round of 16, it beat Toy Story 3 0. So it's all oh, three zips. Never had a goal conceded. No, right. Pulp fiction. Limey, that it's is. Up against... Please don't let it be. I'm not saying, but I've got one of those. <laughs> don't let it be. It's up against sleepers. Oh, Ooh, okay, 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 okay. Now, in the first round, sleepers beat American History X 3 0. Second round, Toy Story 2, 2 1. So this could have been Toy Story versus Toy yeah. Story 2. Yeah. And the round of 16 beat Saving Private Ryan 3-0. So it's, uh, yeah, this is a good match. They've had some bouts, haven't they, Dave? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, uh, I mean, we, we're at the stage now, quarterfinals, where we have discussed these films a lot. And, and then we've got the semi-final and the final as well. Yeah. So we're going to discuss them again and again. I mean, we very rarely mention the films anyway, but... Um, I did once. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> three episodes ago. I think I mentioned Con Air in round one. <laughs> um, I just... I, I, the, the cast of um, Pulp Fiction is... I mean, it's a who's who, isn't it, of, of stars. Yeah. I mean, it, it really is. I'm surprised. Yeah, one of John Travolta's best... Because I'm not a big fan of John Travolta. The funny thing is, I don't see it as John Travolta. No, because he's better than he normally is. Yeah. That's why. You don't like him in Greece. Don't like Greece. I've never seen Greece. I have. Oh, I have. That's, I've, that's I, well, I've seen it. I've seen it in clips. The songs are awful. That's unbelievable. <laughs> oh, that's unbelievable. I hate it when you come. Oh. It come when a DJ plays it on a night out and everyone does that. Oh, God. Tell me oh, more. Oh, I want to throw up. I want to like it, especially if I'm pissed. <laughs> <laughs> Which is 90% of the time. No, it is lately. Oh, 90, oh 94%. Out Friday again, <laughs> Lewis's Friday, birthday. Yeah, Lewis's oh, birthday. Oh, my God. God. <laughs> my liver's going to... And your explode. birthday's coming up. I know. Oh, that's yeah. a Monday. 21. Yeah. <laughs> it's a big one, isn't it? Me 21. Yeah, double it. Oh. Triple it. Triple it. No, not triple it. Bloody yeah. hell. <laughs> Close enough. Not that old yet. <laughs> Um, yeah, so good ice cream. I don't know if the, the, the like mic's going cream. to pick up the ice cream man. I love a lolly. Our ice cream man's got a really terrible song as well. What is it's it? it's free bears, but the closer he gets, it's really distorted. Is oh yeah, bears? yeah, yeah. What's yeah. Free bears? Um, it's like nails down a blackboard. Yeah, isn't it? yeah, it's too distorted. What's free bears? Uh, not free bears. Is it free bears? I don't know Gold, a tune it, called free bears. Is it Goldilocks? I don't know. Something. If you go down to the woods today, oh, that's it. Teddy oh, Teddy Bear picnic. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. yeah. And then as he gets closer, it's like, bloody hell. Everyone's running for cover. And that's what it is, because he wants all the kids to go away, because he's really dealing drugs. Probably is. To all the adults. No, but they used to tell kids, don't they, if it plays a tune, it means he's run out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That's what Chris, because they live in Hastings, obviously, when Charlotte was little. So every time, you know, pass the yeah. little thing, put a pound in, put a pound in, so to say, oh, Charlotte, it's playing a little tune, it means it's not working. Oh, oh she's got to carry on walking. <laughs> Otherwise, he'd have lost 10 quid just walking down the road. Yeah. <laughs> Mind you, you're bugging if you just turn a corner and there's one sitting there on his break. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, um, uh, yeah, John Travolta. I I liked him in. I uh, see. I like Face Off. I didn't mind oh, it. I, God, I didn't mind Face Off. I've seen that. Yeah. Ridiculous. That wasn't and in the, the list. What was the name of the other bloke? Nicholas Cage. Cage. That's he's a good yeah, actor. Yeah, he's quite. <laughs> <laughs> he was all right in that, wasn't he? He was all right in Kick Ass. That was about it. Oh, he was good in Raising Arizona as well. I saw that when it first came out. I can't remember mm. much about it. It's about a kidnapped baby, isn't it? Yeah, because yeah. a rich couple got about seven kids. And they were like, well, we could just take one, couldn't we? Because they got six more. So they just go and kidnap the baby, and uh, it just gets out of hand. John Goodman turns up. I like John Goodman. Yeah. Now, he's great in the film I reckon you should watch, which is um, Sea of Love. One of Al Pacino's best films, I think. And, uh, <laughs> and this boy's life, Mum, Ellen Barkin's in it as well. Oh, I like it. It's a good it. film. Oh, okay. They're sort of detectives after a serial killer. You'd love it. I've never seen a John Goodman do a bad performance. Every time he kills someone, he puts the single Sea of Love on the record player. 
Come with oh, yeah, me, yeah, you told me my before, I yeah. love. It's a good song. Good film, apparently. It is a great film. If it's in this 90s, it could be in this quarterfinals. What's John Goodman's best film? Oh, that Cloverleaf, Cloverfield Lane, where he was in the bunker. That was a, he's a good performance. Also, uh, The Big Lebowski. The Big Lebowski. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a strange film, isn't it? It's not about anything, is it? It's, it's, I was it? watching it thinking, what? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Yeah, you literally don't care what happens with the money or the toe or or you. It's just watching him, isn't it? He's just walking into weird scenarios. Yeah. Yeah. And his haircut, John Goodman, in that film. (laughs) Yeah, it's proper. I love it when he goes, um, over the line! (laughs) The bowling. (laughs) And he goes, if you mark it a six, I'm going (laughs) to. World of pain. He goes, hey, rules are there to be followed. (laughs) You're calling the cops, man. (laughs) Yeah, it's a film. Yeah, it is a really good film. Um, so but not good enough to beat Jurassic Park, though. Oh, definitely not. No, 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 no. I didn't think it was not. a very good film. What? No, uh, you're crazy. No, I liked him. 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 They could do is he Spanish. Spanish. I liked him. <laughs> and he did him in a different film. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jeff Bridges is what? Top, yeah, I top liked actor. him. I just didn't. He could be. Uh, it, that right. could be a series, couldn't it? Like just him in his dress. Another game. great film of his is Crazy Heart. I've oh, got yeah, that on the, DVD yeah, downstairs. The, Me and wife are going to watch it when we go away for every week. The singer. He's a singer, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. I watched that with you. I can't remember what much happened. Yeah, I can't. It. it was a long time ago. I've, I've forgot. Oh. I know the uh, Irish fella's in it, isn't he? He's like the higher up singer. Not higher up like that. <laughs> He's sort of like more of a big star. The one who was in, uh, in Bruges. Oh, Colin. Oh, no. The, uh, the Yeah, not. Colin, the one who's yeah. the one who's in um, Gangs of New York. During Jane's got him yet? <laughs> she shouted out his name. Off it. Oh yeah, 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 she, yeah, yeah. Our Dan Aykroyd moment, we called it. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't remember Dan Aykroyd. <laughs> oh, but if, if we yeah. listen carefully, you can hear Jane because going. She, Dan Aykroyd. <laughs> she seems really hot on her films, don't she? Oh, she yeah. She oh, knows. she's a lot more educated she than we are. Oh yeah. Who are you? Yeah, um, but. I mean, we're talking about John Travolta, I mean, what other films has he... I mean, he did that really... He did that Michael where he's an angel. Which yeah, I that's like right. Much. He was... John Travolta wasn't... Um, was he... Look who's talking. Yeah. Oh, you can hear that oh, now, God. look. Yeah, it's loud. It? Yeah. That's the ice cream. I, it's... Give me the gun. Give me the gun. <laughs> it's the Leon oh. Oswald moment coming up now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's Is completely he out. He's <laughs> completely out. <laughs> he's gone on left. <laughs> Look who's talking, look who's talking too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is him, yeah, yeah. I love them films. You're yeah, not keen. I don't mind them. Oh, yeah, you, yeah, Dave, said you're not keen. I don't think they would have aged they're well if I watched them now. Oh, I watched them as kids. We used to get films. When yeah. on Friday, we used to get the uh, videos out, one for the kids. And then when they went to bed, me and Wafi and We used one. to do exactly the same way weird, but ours was the Saturday night when we were kids. Oh. One that we could all watch and a horror one that I used to hate because I know when I go to bed, I can hear the music of the horror and I didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I used to hate the music from um, what was the what was Unsolved Mysteries? Unsolved oh, Robert oh, Stack. Oh God! Uh, even now they've remade it, and it's it's the same tune but a little bit different. And uh, oh man, it, and they play it a lot, don't they? Yeah. Every time they yeah. finish a story, they put it on again. Yeah. And then again and again. Yeah. So. You can't you can't avoid it. Uh, it's 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 like if you don't like olives and somebody's put really small bits of olives on a pizza, you, you're going to get it. Pineapple. Should oh, it be olives. on a pizza or not? Yeah, I do like. No, I like, I like definitely it. not. Oh, it has to be on a pizza. That's very controversial, isn't it? Uh, to Pepperoni's be honest, got to be on a pizza. To be honest, not and mozzarella I, cheese. That's about it. There's not much you can't oh, put on a pizza I that I wouldn't eat. Well, you pizza. can't put a fried egg on it, surely. Yeah, well, I've, I've never seen one. I've had that I seen one. fried egg with uh, spinach, and they put it on like, like a thin base. Oh, I bet that's really yeah, nice. Yeah, it is really nice. It is. Yeah, because the egg is sort of in the middle. Yeah, that's And does as sound you nice. cut it. It sort of, you know, explodes, <laughs> and uh, like a mine, yeah. And uh, yeah, the yolk goes all over the thing, and uh, it's really messy. But I enjoyed it. Yeah. But I do like pineapple, ham, cheese, I'll, I'll, chicken. Not, you can put anything on a pizza. I'd eat it. My old, not a uh, what was that? No, oh, Je- there's carbon every on jelly there. deals. Maybe, oh, but yeah, no, no. no. Yeah, I no. can't be doing that sort of thing. Jelly deals. Those oh, words maybe should, shudder thinking Those words it. shouldn't go together, should they, really? I bet people out of England don't know what jelly deals are. Well, tell us, Dave. What are they? Educate us. Oh. But it was in jelly. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Look it up on Google, Jelly Deals. Get a picture on uh, iTunes. Similar to Rob. Itu- iTunes. iTunes. <laughs> <laughs> YouTube. It's like eating a snake covered in jelly, isn't it? <laughs> oh, it's very tasty, though. You, you haven't ate it, have you? He loves it. I love it. You yeah. don't. Yeah, I do. He does, yeah. No, he's winding me up. No, no, it, it literally does. He, he does. Next really time you come like round, get a salmon, I'll eat it. In You're front joking, of you. I don't go near the stuff. <laughs> I don't think you can see it in the supermarket. It's sort of, it's on these stalls, isn't it? These fish yeah, stalls. the fish stalls that are always in. So it's pub- when you're in pubs and clubs, and they come round. You got a yeah. whole tub of jelly and one little bit of fish in the middle. You want a fair whack of it. That's the nice thing about Hastings, right down the very end. Oh, Hastings, yeah, whole- Hastings, Where's Hastings. I go Folkestone as well. Oh, grow up. Folkestone's like a <laughs> ghost town <laughs> now, isn't it? Dead That's the home of folk music. <laughs> no, go on, go on. Well, they do I all the fish, don't they? They've got all the stalls and the little things with all the fresh fish and that. They do the eels. And all them little... Cockles. cockles. Mussels. The mussels alive, alive. Yeah. Oh. When I, when I was in France... Have you ever done one of them? That slide down oyster, no, no. I've never had an oyster. No, I no. haven't. I I've never really turned one down. I've just never been in a position. Yeah. I've had an oyster from the ice cream, man. <laughs> 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 um, but I do... I When I was in France, they used to do... Um, uh, uh, frites and malts, which is, which is fries and mussels. So you used to go to the little hatch and you go, frites and malts, please. Monsieur. What is that voice? Monsieur. What I mean. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then uh, and then they give you like a like a big bowl full of mussels, like with the ice in it and that, and then a big thing of chips. And you, yeah, I used to, oh man. For some reason, I've got... never had lobster. Oh, oh lobster true. tail is the nuts. I've had crab. Oh. I, yeah, I love crab. Yeah, crab's nice. Crab salad. When I went to um, when I went to America, I don't know why. I just I've never. That surprises me of you. I yeah. imagine yeah. you eating. Really I've never that. turned it down. I just you know, just not bought it. No. I am. Um, when I was in Florida, we went to Tony Roma's. I have shrimp in over there, Florida. didn't I? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shrimp. Sh- no, that's uh, Australia. Oh, oh shrimp. shrimp on the bar, yeah, baby. What the hell was that? <laughs> Forrest Gump, he'd done a shrimp thing, didn't he? Yeah, yeah Bubba, Bubba Gump, Gump shrimp. Yeah. yeah, I mean, they Bubba go mad for shrimp over there. And that's about everything you can do with a shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> He's scrubbing the floor. Shrimp salads, <laughs> shrimp. <laughs> um, but yeah, when I went to Tony Roma's, um, I went with my with my in-laws and the Vicster, and... Um, and I didn't know really what to get. You know, it's a steak place and all that kind. Of, and and he, my father-in-law, was getting um, this thing where she was like a steak, and then chips, and then it comes with a lobster tail, and it had like corn on the cob. It was like yeah. a, a a big oval plate. It was and uh, and lobster tail. Wow, it's really? so what nice. What does it taste like? Lobster <laughs> tail. Yeah, I. I I, I don't know. It, it is a little. It like you a taste it. It means I don't know what it tastes yeah, like. That's ridiculous. It, it's not 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 like anything else. It's not fishy it's and it's not meaty. It's like it's got like a lemony sauce with it as well. You can put on it. Um, but her mum, her mum hates it. She puts the menu up so she can't look at it because it, <laughs> it doesn't look horrible. But she just can't handle it. Yeah. She yeah. So, but yeah, that was the moment where where I got a little bit tipsy in front of my in laws for the first time. I got a bit loud. It I was on holiday, you know. Oh, so, you did in the last episode. Like, well, they don't drink, so I was sitting there, sort of like, "Hey, this is great, yeah." <laughs> God, if they'd seen you Monday night. Oh God, no. Rapping, <laughs> rapping. <laughs> Some bloke just turned. I'm started rapping. Like, just, people just do nothing. <laughs> great them seeing the universe. <laughs> I watched a couple of them last night. Have you seen it before? Yeah, a few. Dr. You watched it in order, though, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, who's oh your that favorite? Michelle, so thick. Oh, I feel sorry for her. Well, she's, she brings it on herself. Yeah, she? made a big old lot in it. I, I can't like, choose. I like Beats. Beats or Jibuddy G. I can't Jibuddy choose. G, yeah, that Michael two. loves Jibuddy G. Jibuddy yeah. G gets up in her sometimes, though. He's like the comedy outlet. Not comedy outlet. He's like the Alexis like the... Sale. Oh, no, no. He's, he's definitely funnier than I Alexis like Sale. Yeah, everybody is. Yeah, that's true. Hitler was funnier than him. <laughs> oh, his little moustache. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> Classic Adolf. <laughs> Um, so, I mean, we have we have uh, discussed John Travolta at length. Um, we got a bit of a crisis, Bob. Oh, oh God. Through the episode. I can't find the score. Was it 7-5? I was winning. Score four. Oh, Pauline versus... Oh. Pauline. I think it was 7-5. 7-5, Bob. Yeah. Or oh, was it 5-4? Was it no, it wasn't 5 all. <laughs> <I'm joking. laughs> no, she was losing. I think losing. it was 7-5. She yeah. If is... not, it was 6-5. It's here somewhere, but it's all... Bob's tidies up. 
Not, drink the sea. My charger's up there. That's Just it. Just a hundred million COVID tests. Yeah. <laughs> All positive. <laughs> the only test I can pass. <laughs> oh yeah, give us that moment. No, yeah. Don't, <laughs> don't, don't want to get a positive, do I? Um, uh, yeah, oh, well, did you want to do one then, Dave? Yeah, go on, let's do it. Let's okay, do it, well, Holy. we've done the tune, we get the tune. I've only got you know. one, so it's got to be this one. Oh, uh, that All one. All about the sound of music, please. Um, I've got a question for you. Oh. Did it's... you watch the Olympics? No. Was it on? Because it it's on? all about the Olympics. Oh, he's winding right, us up. Okay, it's better not. Be I didn't there. watch any of the Olympics. I, no, not I one didn't... bit. Yeah. I, I don't I, know. I just don't. Do you know what? This this is a little bit of a get it off your chest, I suppose. Um, oh, play it. Get it off your chest. Oh. <sighs> <laughs> the only the only people that care about the Olympics are the people that are in it. I used to love the Olympics. No, oh, I tell you what, I used to love it. It's rubbish. Oh, I'm the I'm the the person who in the world who can jump the furthest or run the fastest. No, Bob. Or I, I'll throw this the furthest. I, I mean, the won't... worst things were they brought all professional sportsmen in, like the golfers and the tennis players. That was a big. Mistake. I just find it very. I, I don't know. BMX bikes and skateboarding. Yeah. I mean, give us a. Oh, break. I've been I've been training for this all my life. I'll oh, grow up. But do you know Jeez. what? Go on. Now, I've not watched no more, and I didn't watch number four. The 2012 Olympics, when we had it in our own country in London, I was absolutely. I used to watch you say. I used to, I used to love you saying Bolt. Yeah, I could watch I him was, all day. I said to I Lewis. I didn't watch any of it. It's right. hard to watch him all day, though, because his race only takes nine seconds. Yeah. He, he, <laughs> he would be knackered, the, the wouldn't he? Car, the Jimmy Carr joke is that he, he, um, he, it took him nine point something seconds to run 100 metres. But it, it it was so quick, it took me 11 seconds to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> but that year, I thought, because we were on holiday and we were coming home the day of the opening ceremony, mum, dad, all of us gone on holiday, and I, I said, oh, I'm not bothering. And they were all saying, oh, we've got to watch the opening ceremony. So we did. We all watched it together, but that was a bit boring, actually. But I got so into it that year, I was screaming at my telly, shouting, what? especially the Saturday night when it was... Usain I've, I've, Bolt what? and Jennifer, Jennifer, uh, Jennifer Juniper, uh, no. Jennifer Eccles, Jennifer Aniston, and, no, you, oh. Jenny, Ellis, uh, Jennifer Sophie Rennie. Ellis Bexter. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know you mean, yeah. yeah. I, I just don't care. I'll I tell don't, you what doesn't know, help. Is... All the trains were packed as well. I was travelling to work every day. Oh, all so these guards brilliant. and that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah the whole, whole laid on the A2. I've is... got a bloody it long shift. It was absolutely shift. brilliant. And Ooh. that, um, oh, the bloke yeah. that done the running, not Usain Bolt, the long distance running. Oh, he was in the Big Brother. No Mo, Mo. Yeah, Mo Farah. Oh, no, no interest. Oh, if you get a gold medal, you can uh, advertise my cereal for the next five years. Brilliant. Go for it. Well, I enjoyed it, I but just I've don't, never watched I, it since. I, I really couldn't care less. I, I, I just don't. I don't get it. I'll tell you what doesn't help. That's the BBC who covers it, and they're so nice, aren't they? They're so. What's wrong with that? Oh, they're so. There's more coverage. What are what? When you sort of see bits of it, there's more coverage of them talking to the parents at home than the actual event in the Olympics. I've got me nerves. Yeah, you got four hours of them going. Yeah. So how proud are you yeah, of your yeah. son? Oh, he we tried every day. Oh, here he's coming to dive. Two seconds gone. Yeah, yeah but that bombs. is a big oh, thing. Well. When you think they've trained hard for years and years and years to get that gold medal must be amazing, especially in 2012 in your own country with everyone there. And, and another thing that's sort I of spot care. is how successful we are at it now because we're really good now. We're really good, yeah. We're back in the day, in the 70s and 80s, we only used to get about three or four gold medals. Now we're getting loads and loads. 40 yeah. odd we got. Well, just, did we get 38? Yeah, yeah. It's the same. For me, for me, it's the same thing as when they say uh, at the award ceremonies, and the winner is Jack Nicholson. Whoever it is goes up. Oh, thank you so much. I'm, I'm literally the same thing. It just... I think familiarity breeds content. I remember, just changing subjects a bit, but when in football in the late 50s and early 60s, then the European Cup started. So you just weren't normal football. You were just playing all the Real Madrid's and Benfica's and Barcelona's. And it was magical, but we couldn't win it. We always used to fall at the semi-final. Then when we won it, hey, we won it. But then we won it again and again. Liverpool won it three times on the trot. Forest won it twice. Villa, you got to be, oh, we won the European Cup again. And it's not, it's lost yeah. its magic. Do you it's, know what I mean? Uh, for me, it is like the Del Boy thing. The journey to get there is so much more exciting than... 
Yeah, I the, do, do you know what I mean? Once he'd got it, he'd, he'd yeah, scored, wouldn't he? Yeah. But when you only get that, like I remember when David Henry won the 400 metres hurdles in 1968 in Mexico, it was fantastic because we didn't just didn't win them sort of things, you know. It was great. But now we're winning this, we're winning that. We dominate the cycling and the canoeing, don't we? I, just, so, bit, I don't, you know. I just don't, I don't, I have no interest. Uh, good for, good on them. I would never say, I'll oh, just cancel the Olympics then. If they want to do it, brilliant, go for it. But don't expect me to just, just because It just I'm doesn't hold I don't, any. you're not, I'm not the football team I support. I'm not the country I live in. I'm not the street, I, I, I'm not the, the religion that you believe in. You, you it, I don't have to believe in these things because I was born at a certain time or in a certain country. I just don't care. I, don't, I really don't care. I'm good on them. Now. Good, they work really hard. Some of them can do amazing things, but I just don't care. It'd be nice to win the <laughs> World Cup, though, wouldn't it? No. No. <laughs> oh, that's so wrong no, I just to. again, again, I like the almost. I like that they. Oh, it'd be nice if I was. Long time. I was looking forward to them failing at some point. You know, they played really well. They beat beat a couple of teams. Whatever. They beat Germany. That was a big result. Good, good game to watch as well. And I, I do a very con- I do consider myself Germany, a, wasn't it? Yeah, but I, they're on the da- on the yeah, they're yeah. older, yeah. So you know, it was a good game to watch, and that's uh, I consider myself a neutral. So I want to, you know, I, I want to be entertained. I don't want a one nil boring, you know, penalty or whatever. I do have to apologise. There's a noise outside. Say, I, I don't. Boy, get up your soapbox. It's time for the quiz. Oh, here we go. I'm going to shut the window. Yeah. Oh, what is boiling in here? Oh, go on in. I know it is, but I don't know what that noise is. <laughs> I'll, I'll be back in two go on Dave I can hear you go on you carry on he ain't gonna get a towel is he I was just about to say you ain't sweat well you're always sweating the window is shut oh, bloody hell god I'm sweating are you I feel like Alec Guinness <laughs> who's that oh, you're really clammy <laughs> I touched you with my arm by the way <laughs> right We've we go. got the Tokyo oh, Olympic Games medal table. Oh, I've got God. the top 30 countries. Now, if you know nothing about sport, you know what sort of countries are good at sport and that. So, do you want a life or not? Have you been watching it lately? No, no, I've no seen yeah. Since 2012. You don't have to watch. I've watched it. <laughs> Is that for me already? <laughs> I've been watching it. No. Uh, uh, do you want a life or not? Uh, I'll, I'll take a life. Yeah, I'll take a life. I think we should. Okay. Yeah. All right, before we start the games, flip the coin. Pauline? Oh, uh, heads. Heads it is, first or second? <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> okay. First, please. Go ahead. America. Do you mean the United, United States of America? United States of America. Surprise, surprise, number one on yeah, the list. There's only one in front of someone else. Oh, he said it. I China. Know what he said. China. Yay. Oh, Dave. <laughs> Come on, this is early doors. Come on. <laughs> you shouldn't be allowed that one. <laughs> there's only one in front of China. <laughs> can you tell oh, me? There were only one. I don't know where China came from. They never used to do anything. Number three, can you go meh? Whatever it is. <laughs> Go on, hurry up. Germany. Germany, you say, number nine on the list. Am I allowed to say us? Us. You know, well, us through. You know, <laughs> United Kingdom. No, it's, no. Great, it's great Britain. Great Britain, whatever. Yeah. Number four on the list. Didn't we do oh, well? We did good. Is it finished now then? Yeah. That's any I think so, anyway. Okay. France. Fra- Vive la France. Eight on we. the list. Um. I really don't know where I'm going now. Um, well, you were told one. <laughs> I know, that saved me. I think I'm going to lose a life here. I'm going to go Russia. Russia. Five on the Lee, list. Oh, that was good. That was good. They always used to be second, didn't they, behind the Americans. But They've got a gold in uh, vodka drinking. Yeah. Um, in extreme cold. <laughs> um, Africa. There's no such country as Africa. South Africa. <laughs> <laughs> South Africa do it. No, this is South Africa. You saying Africa or South Africa? No, South Africa. No, this is the European Olympics. Oh, Oh, not on the list. Not on the list. That's amazing. They're not on the list. They're a big sporting nation. Yeah, they've got. um, Oh no, I'm not going to mention his name. No. Um, Thought of one. 
Um, well, it's a bloody thing, so we're early doors here. Are we? Is that a life gone for her then? Yeah. Yeah, yeah yes, mention that. Uh, I'll go for... Atlantis. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Switzerland? Switzerland. Oh, they're not a great sporting nations, but they're coming at number 24. Whoa, Whoa. good save. Now, I did see a bit of the running, and one of the women that ran in, she was from here, so I know that that's the country to hit. Ethiopia. Ethiopia, you say, which is in Africa, funny enough. Oh, for God's sake. You're out. Sake. Eight five. Rubbish. Rubbish. Useless. Spain? Was Spain there? Spain. That was going to be bad. Be there. Oh, I can't believe that. Spain 22. Oh, yeah, there you go. So I absolutely trounced her. You didn't get the number three. You're the number, number six. Three? Japan. You could have gone ch for me. <laughs> you said Germany. <laughs> I did say I think, Germany. Yeah. <laughs> six Australia, seven Netherlands, ten Italy. Canada, I was 11. thinking Italy. Italy's Brazil, in my 12. head. Cuba, 14. You know why, didn't you? Cuba Box. good in junior. Boxing. They're really good at boxing, aren't they? Uh, I don't feel they've got At these. least you got podium. <laughs> Iran, number 27. Would you have got any more of these? Italy uh, uh, was Spain my was my one, one I was going to say. Oh. Yeah, that's, that was it. So there we go. Wow. Didn't need a life. It's another great victory. I'm not going first no more. <laughs> I think that's going to go wrong. I best, it's best if you just don't go at all. <laughs> hey! So where in the beginning? That me? was Bob absolutely trouncing. No, you didn't. Oh, you no. were told one of them. Whoa! Stuff. Hello. How no, could you say even, absolutely? I could have said Chile, Colombia. Well, you'd be an idiot <laughs> if you had. I could have said anything, couldn't I? Yeah. I could have said chocolate. You two stick together all the time. Avon. Chewamba Wamba. Anyone <laughs> get in touch? Stick up for me. Pauline versus Bob. Pauline, Pauline getting annihilated by Bob. Wait for it, fade out, fade out. I'm going to have the next one on Barbie dolls or something Sound like that. Barbie dolls? The I'll probably win that. <laughs> yeah, he's into dolls, isn't he? Oh, they're not dolls. They're action figures. Robert Wrestling Federation. Check it out on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> Been working hard on that recently. Do you know what, though? Oh, go on. Oh, he said, put that finger I'm away. Not, if we ever do go live, people are going to not be able to watch it. They're just going to see the end of your <laughs> finger. Just <laughs> these flying hands. Um... I've just joined Facebook, haven't I? You have. Welcome. Yeah, and I've joined your wrestling... Robert Wrestling Why? Federation. R -W everyone thought... turns him down. Oh, no, I thought, no. He's my cousin. I'll, I'll yeah, support, him... support yeah. the Federation. Well, have you, have you painted some of them yourself? Absolutely. They weren't bad, you know. Absolutely. I even liked one. I know you did. What one like... did you like? I don't know. He was was it Barbie? He had orange on him. Yeah. Was it Barbie's red lipstick? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I thought, oh, perhaps I shouldn't slay it as much as I do because you look like you take it really serious. Well, it's the Robert Wrestling Federation, of course I will. Yeah. So that means we've got two Maybe people. Maybe the next on... quiz should be you, you ask, ask questions on um, Sound of Music and you ask questions on the Royal Rumbles. Yeah, yeah that's, go. a, that's a good... Uh... That's another question you've had. Go on. The Matrix, what pill? Your favourite film of all time. Well, oh, blow! Oh, that on. was three, three ones ago. Yeah. I mean. It's just all oh, one in your favour. Do you know ninety percent of women uh, arch archaeologists are women because they're they're brilliant at digging up the past. Oh, that's <laughs> <it. laughs> Nowhere near as good as my Demerara. <laughs> <laughs> oh, blow! Your first yeah, ever episode. Rara. Yeah, Pauline's joke. Still my yeah. only joke. You've got another joke. No. Oh, oh, that's a shame. That was my That my feature died only. on it. She <laughs> peaked. <laughs> yeah. Demerara. <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> At the wedding, I handed you that little thing of Demerara sugar, didn't you I? You did, you did. Look, Dave, Demerara. <laughs> So when, you walked away, when you walked away, I went, stupid cow. Yeah, <laughs> you don't wait till I've walked away. You say it too. Very true. <laughs> right, sleepers. Uh, sleepers. Good cast again. Good cast. Very yeah, another good. big cast. Yeah. And these two have both got really dark parts of the film Sleepers as well. is so dark. It is, yeah. Sleepers is more realistic than Yeah, Pulp and you Fiction. shouldn't enjoy it. It's not that sort of film. I do enjoy it's just one it. Of them films, well, you can enjoy it? the performances. Yeah, but it's what's going on is just horrendous. Yeah, it is. But, uh, but Ke they got their revenge. Yeah. Well, well did well, they though? Look how they? two of their lives went. I mean, they well, were going to do that anyway. I like the, I like the fact that when they found one of the the old guards, they said like, "Oh, are you sure you want to do this? Because he's got kids and he's got a family." And he says, "Yeah, more so." 
that makes him want to do it more so. Yeah. Get him, you know, in the, in the bit. And that bloke's face as well, he, he just crumbles, doesn't he? The sort of bald bloke when he's on the stand, because he's just a character reference for Kevin Bacon's character. Yeah, it's and a then trick slowly, to get him on the but, yeah, slowly well, we but about surely, him. yeah. Did, and it was uh, Dustin Hoffman, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, and it's the way he tweaks as well. It's like, like he's tripping himself over. Like, so, uh, um, so uh, you um, did you ever hit any of the children? Sorry, did you ever hit any of the children? And he, he's yeah. just like, did you ever witness any of the children? Uh, yeah, it's just it, his performance in it is, is amazing. It is brilliant, and it's funny because it is a Brad, Brad Pitt is in it, but it's not a Brad Pitt film. Oh, definitely not. No. It's not carried by him, or you know, on the post, you know, on the post, uh, Rob De Niro as well. But I don't see it as it's like a collective, like pop I mean? fiction, really, isn't it? Would you say yeah, anyone's the main part in that? No, there's no one star no of these main, films. No, no, that's that's something they've got in common. Actually, yeah, you're right. Oh, thanks. <laughs> proud don't, of yourself. Don't look at that smile. That. Look, <laughs> look at that smile. She's so proud of herself. But I agree with Dave, you've said this before, that in Sleepers, I liked it when they were kids. Yeah, yeah. When they were... The Hell's Kitchen the kind of, bit, yeah. yeah. I bet the viewers, the viewers, the listeners, are really missing the clips, don't you? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they, they were... It's brilliant. terrible. <laughs> <laughs> they were fun, though, weren't they? Yeah, they were fun. Especially I look, Pauline. I, look for, for, yeah. I did my best. Did your best. Mike was amazing, <laughs> wasn't he? Yeah. He's done good. one. Yeah, yeah that was, was really it, though. Good, though. You didn't want to know why. It was out of respect. It's good. It's a good line. And um, why, oh, because wifey done Pulp Fiction, didn't she? Well, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she terrified did, uh, me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she knew it off by art as well, which was weird. <laughs> <laughs> she did it. We all sort of like looked at her. Yeah. I, was, I thought from? it was Samuel Jackson. <laughs> she had, she had a, um, she had a vein popping in her forehead as she said it. <laughs> the magnum in her hand. <laughs> Dave sitting on the chair. What? <laughs> <laughs> they speak English in what? What? I <laughs> uh, see. So, yeah, uh, there are some. Uh, that, there are iconic moments. When I put these films up against each other, I think with Pulp Fiction, there's a lot of, there's the poster and there's the music and there's a lot, there's a lot more to Chuck it. Berry. I think it's a lot more iconic, I think, than Sleepers. Yeah, I'd never seen Sleepers. What, what until this? Yeah. Till, yeah, so it's, it, I think it's because of the, the, there's no sort of shooting up and, you know, no, uh, it's not sugarcoated in any way. No. There isn't a tongue-in-cheek moment at any point. Do you know what I mean? It's a, it is a serious, believable, based on true story. Well, oh, that went on a lot, especially back then. Oh, and it all falls. But you was it you that said you weren't keen on the woman that was in it? What's her name? Mini Driver. Mini Driver. Yeah. Well, no. See, I thought she was. I thought she was in, good. In this, I can sort of, I can bear her because she's not um, over overdoing it. It was in Goodwill Hunting. That I didn't. I didn't I, mind doing that either. Though. I just, I don't know. I, I didn't. I don't know. I don't know. I just didn't really feel it. But Sleepers, she didn't have a main role. She was just the girl. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. She was the girl that sort of in love with one of them. And yeah, I, I and it is when when they're kids and uh, you know they're looking through the thing at the women getting changed and uh, he was he. Uh, I think they said at one point um, that they. That he uh, he was my he our friend had uh, a most uh, sexually active friend because he kissed a girl once for a, oh. for a whole minute or something <laughs> like that <laughs> and there's on the back of the horse and cart thing yeah uh, uh, yeah it is it does it sets it up really well I love it when they're all on top of the rooftop yeah and it's belting well that's it, how it though. starts that's isn't it that's start. like, I love that though. yeah or when the hot dog man come in court they realise he was a normal bloke you know yeah. we never saw him as a person before oh. yeah. yeah. His family and uh, yeah. all suited and booted. Like. I mean, what would have happened, right? Change the, change the scenario. So they drop the uh, cart down the stairs. That bloke doesn't walk out and it just hits the wall. Yeah. Boom. What what happens? They just leg it and that's just it. Just leg it and they just don't know more. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, they didn't like, how different their lives could have been. Well, yeah. I mean, what would they have done instead? Join the clergy and Rob De Niro and that? Uh, who knows? 
And I like the bloke. I don't know what his name is, but the bloke who plays the um, the the boss bloke. I can't remember what they call him. They call him something, Mister Something or something. But he's the one. He, he asks. Yeah, you're the guy who gives people jobs. The old the old guy. Do you remember? He, he walks in. He says, um, "You're you're you're the guy who gives people jobs." And he says, "Oh, are you hear this on the street?" And then Robert De Niro says, "Oh, are you running for uh, Benny? Is it oh, Be- Miss Miss Benny Benny something?" And he and you want the bag? And he's doing yeah, running money. I he goes, "I need to bring in my friends because yeah. I need it." Yeah, you what? <laughs> what about them? You care? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, like Finny from Forty Towers. I really like that bloke actually. That bit I really like where he gets mugged for Benny's money, and then he goes, hey, "What do you do there? Hey, what do you do?" He goes, "I uh, take a walk, old man." And he takes out his gun, and he, they go, "Whoa, ah, you're not smart anymore." <laughs> ah, <laughs> ah, from me the bag. <laughs> I love that little bit. So then he asks Benny if his mates can come yeah. on board, so you know, a bit of muscle and that. Yeah, I just really like that. Um, just the impression with more Manuel. Than... <laughs> <laughs> I'm from Barcelona. <laughs> ham, ham a sandwich. You were doing that. You were saying that on Monday. Michael was, yeah, yeah, yeah when we was out drinking, yeah. Somebody said ham and that was it. That was yeah. Oh, my crisps were ham, cheese oh, and mustard yeah, and yeah, something. They yeah. stunk, didn't oh, they? Oh, God, they, they did. They were lovely, really though, strong. yeah. Yeah, it cost me about a fiver. It cost you anything. You didn't take any money with That's you. true. <laughs> That's true. I didn't. Didn't have any. Uh, I would if I had it. Well, um, are you ready, Dave? Oh, right. Diary. <laughs> Best podcast feature ever. Work. At night, go for a walk and end up at Dulwich Hamlet who are playing a Palace 11. Go home, watch TV. Diary. <laughs> Say the date. <coughs> Bless, you. Bless you. He's allergic to diary. You didn't say what date you were. Oh, sorry. Oh, Friday the thirteenth of August. Oh. oh. Do, do, do. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see what's happening there. We've just gone around, sort of doing stuff, and we've seen the floodlights on. So we've gone over like there, like a beacon, like a moth yeah. to we a flame. We ain't paid to get in. We've just gone, gone in, jump over the wall. Yeah. It's quite funny because uh, when we used to go there as kids, Dully Jamlet are a uh, Soccer team, football team. Soccer. But they're not a professional team. They're an amateur team. And uh, But they had a good ground. Still have. And uh, whenever we used to go there, never, ever, we just used to bunk in. We had a, a set way of doing it. It was dead easy. And uh, we used to get in, watch the game, and come home. Until uh, now, we still go and see them now, but we pay to get in now, don't we, Robert? Yeah, well, you can't get over the wall. But I'm a concession. <laughs> uh, actually, I, I, it costs you like thirteen quid to get in. I'm a concession because I'm over sixty-five. I'll get in for a fiver. God, that's all right. But you, uh, um, when was it we went and you said um, the turnstiles? You can't sort of see who else is coming behind. So the person there with the tickets, person comes through, ticket. Yeah, okay. Turn the turnstiles. They go in, and then the next person sort of arrives. And you said something to do with my boy. Oh yeah, and my boy. And she said the price of a kid. <laughs> and then I sort of went, hello. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> she was like, oh. <laughs> yeah, just me and me, boy. <laughs> yeah. It's a funny, though, because when you go to these uh, grounds that aren't like big professional teams, I mean, when you when you go into the big games, you're like cattle. They just get you in, yeah. they push you around. Mm. But when we went to uh, there's a team called Burgess Hill Town, uh, we went to play them. And uh, as you walk in, with anyone's here, as you walk in, uh, this old lady greeted us. She goes, hello, welcome to Burgess Hill Town. She says, the toilets are on the left up there, and you can get us coffee just a bit further on. Oh. Yeah, it was great, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, we love that. We love that. And the funny thing was, when we was having a cup of coffee just on the edge of, uh, edge of the ground, the, uh, the goalkeeper put two posts down, so he was about – the goal, his goal was about five yards in front of us. And he says – because the bloke was going to do shots at him and he was going to say, he goes, I wouldn't stand there with your coffee, mate, not with me in goal. 
<laughs> yeah, the, 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 lower, the lower leagues are just brilliant. I've been to Gillingham no. ground. You should come with us one time. Yeah, I've yeah. Been to Gillingham we go to away Gillingham. games in Kent. Yeah, we just go to the nearest ones. Yeah. Really. Yeah, it's, Otherwise, it's, it's a trip around the South Circuit. It takes yeah. forever. It is good. I mean, so some of the grounds we go to, we went to one, didn't we, where it was a really nice day and it was like a fancy dress day. Oh, and we yeah. sort of turned up at this all way, and all the home fans were like dressed up like Mario and Luigi, and there was a tiger and all this kind of stuff, minions and that. <laughs> like, okay, so it's that that kind of day. That's fine. When I went to um, Jill's, watch Jill's. Um, at That's half-time, Gillingham. Oh, Gillingham, yeah. At half time, it was when either Chaz or Dave, one of them had died. Chaz. Chaz had died. And he announced it over the thing. I've just heard that Chess has died, and they were playing Rabbit, Rabbit, and all his music. Oh. Right, half time. Everyone, everyone it's was a strange singing thing along. To do, isn't it? Yeah, yeah right, it was half time. I know you were having a good time. Just want to remind you that uh, somebody's died. Yeah, yeah. They um, played and it. I'm going to remind you by playing all. But the it was songs. quite nice because <laughs> everyone was singing along. Yeah, Dad I used to say it... that was my song. What Rabbit? Yeah, 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 yeah. Buddy, buddy. Yeah. All the time you say that. Got more rabbit than Sainsbury's. Yeah. <laughs> Were they big in America? No. So I've got, the uh, so I don't Jane, think it would Jane won't know who, no. who they are. Chaz and Dave. Chaz and Dave. Ain't no pleasing you is a great song. Oh, I like that's that like, one. I'll do that on karaoke. Yeah, that's good, that one. YouTube. Ain't no pleasing you. Chaz and Dave. Great song. Check it out. Um... Yeah, we went to uh, we we yeah we go to loads, don't we? The season's only just starting as well, isn't it? So we'd... yeah, but we ain't got a game in Kent till uh, December. It's a bit oh, of a quite a long time yet then. Yeah. yeah. Oh well. Um, thank you for your diary, Dave. I wish you'd write down um, like what when you go home, watch telly. I want to know what yeah. you watched. Like, what was what was on at that time? What it's was too late now. It's... Well, yeah, I know. I know. Asking him now is absolutely well, absurd. Said, oh, I wish you would write down. Yeah, I wish there you would. There used to be a pro. One of them comes to mind. There used to be a program. You know, uh, Rod Selling. Is it Rod Selling who done. Um, do, 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 do. Twilight Zone. Yeah. he done a program called Night Gallery. It was like a couple of scary stories. He, 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 was talk, he had a great voice, didn't he? He used to talk and he had these oh, sort yeah, of like yeah. uh, scary paintings behind him. He goes, let's go into the night gallery. And it'd be like a little story. And then the effort would come on, you'd get another story afterwards. Yeah, I remember watching that before I went to bed. Was um, Coronation Street on in them years? I know it's been going Yeah, not forever. when I got home after being out for the night. He's coming up. It's been on since 1960. I'm going to catch up. <laughs> no catch up back in them days. If you didn't watch it when it was on, you missed it. That was it. Yeah. Oh, what happened last night? What happened on Corey last uh, night? I missed it. Yeah. <laughs> I'd say used to be a big Coronation Street fan was Ella Fitzgerald. You know, the jazz singer. Ooh. You never heard of Ella Fitzgerald? Yeah, I've heard oh, of yeah, it, yeah, yeah. Jazz is good, isn't it? Yeah. It's all right. It sounds like a drum kit. I don't mind form. traditional, oh. but I don't like... Oh, when they come out Scat, is it? I'm the scat man. That's my head Um... I, I, yeah, I mean, jazz for me is um, a drum kit falling down the stairs. Yeah, I'm not into jazz. Yeah. I'll tell you who plays a good jazz flute. Who? Ron Burgundy. Oh, never heard of him. The Anchorman. Oh. Will Ferrell, the film? No. No. no? Okay. I'd love to be able to play the saxophone. Well, yeah, yeah, but there's only one thing you want to play, isn't there? What? Make the street. End. I think it sounds so good, the saxophone. It sounds so nice. I don't like it when it goes really high, you know what I mean? It's, oh, cool. Oh, I like that. Or guitar. Be able to play a whole Or piano, tune. or drums. I can play the piano. I can do one. Song. Oh, cool. Oh, you, you did it at the wedding. She did it at the wedding, yeah. Oh, did she? I miss that. Luckily, they turned the piano off. <laughs> yeah, the piano got up and ran away. It did. There was a big, I white, did it. There was a big white grand piano. Did she do it? it? Yeah. Lifted it up, but it, it didn't play, did it? No, it didn't appear. Because it was like, an, I don't know, an electric one. Oh. When, you, when you press the keys... When I was pressing it, it nothing was happening. It literally Just sounded... as well. It sounded like this. Yeah, like my finger. <laughs> that was it. She was doing it with her voice. Ding, ding, ding. You couldn't pick up... You couldn't open up the piano and start doing a bit of Mendelssohn, no, though, could you? No, I can only you? do one tune. Chopsticks. <laughs> That ain't a tune, is it? <laughs> I can do the Rugrats intro. Do, 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 do. And I've got can, no, can, I've got no musical talent at oh, all. Oh, and obviously the one that every single person can do on the recorder, London's Burning. There's not a person on the planet 
<laughs> There's not a person on the planet on the planet who can get a good tune out of a recorder. Oh no, it's all it's, it's, Why it's did all... we do that? At no, I idea. never did it. I, I did the steel pans. Like the ukulele is taking over, isn't it? After school for the recorder. Oh, did you know she that, didn't even have a recorder. She was just like, <laughs> <laughs> the ukulele is taking over from the recorder as the go-to instrument. That's what I'm told. Yeah. Oh, okay. Which is a much better instrument, isn't it? Yeah. I had a guitar for a while. Oh, did you? Yeah, I used to play. What did you play? I used to play um, uh, Foo Fighters. Um, I forget the song now. Uh, I, I can't remember. But um, oh. but the only thing about a guitar is that you have to you have to tune it. If you if you leave it too long, it, you need to, need to tune it. it. Just takes, and I never knew how to do it. So I had to go and grab my main man Spence out at his house, and he he used to do it for me. So I'd be going, is that a tune again? Yeah. Why did just... you learn how to tune it? Well, I, had a, I did have a tuner that I used to do, but it was never as good as when he did it, because he's a very musical family. Um, but yeah. It's I... a gift, isn't it? It really is. Yeah. I would love to be able to play an instrument. Oh, he, yeah, yeah he, he can play anything. Like, But then I always think, oh, it'd be so cool to be, be able to just play the guitar. But then you, when if you're a younger person, like my main man Spence, he's uh, at parties and stuff, you're the guy with the guitar. Go and yeah, get the guitar. Yeah, but that's good though, because it must be yeah, nice because he's just working. Like, oh, I just want to have a drink. No, play a uh, Let It oh, Be. No, you know, I like yes. it. Oh. If I was really good at an instrument and somebody wanted to hear me play it, yeah, well, Mark used to play the um, clarinet, didn't he? The clarinet. Yeah, he was really good at it, and he just gave up on it. Did he? Yeah, yeah. He played it in Town Hall, didn't he? Yeah, Willis Town Hall had a solo in there. That's true. You, you're putting in a face like that's not true. So, that is true. That's really nervous when you go to see him and they all come on and do like a, the whole band and then someone will do a bit. Then Michael, they do this bit. Then Michael had to do his solo. Oh, oh. I thought, don't mess it up. Don't mess it up. He didn't. He done it well. Yeah, he could do it. But to be in the school band, you had to be in school. Yeah. And that was the problem. Yeah. In the end, I had to take the uh, all the books that the teacher gave Mr. Royal, his name was. Nice bloke, he was. He was. And all the, uh, they said, he's not turning up, he's just got to leave the band. And I had to take the books round to this Mr. Royal's house to give him all the books back. Oh. And I said, it's a shame, isn't it? He goes, yeah, it is. He had a talent. Wasted. Yeah, wasted. Yeah. Well, he's got a bigger talent, you know, he can consume large amounts of alcohol. So and he can piss everybody off as well. So <laughs> he's good at that. He is good at that. To be fair, he could do that in front of the town, all full of people. <laughs> oh yeah, he'd piss them all off, wouldn't he? <laughs> oh, poor good, old Mike. Good lad. Good lad. Good bants. <laughs> um. So I mean, Dave, are we? Are you, how are you feeling about this draw? Um. I know which way I'm going. Did you know as soon as they came out? Yeah, I think so. Did yeah, you know? I did. Oh, okay. Even though so, I really like both of them. Oh, they're both good films, yeah, but I know, one. Away. But they're both justified quarter finalists. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, we might as well vote then. If it, they're both good, but one's gooder. <laughs> gooder. Um, uh, Shall I vote well, first? You might as well go, Dave. Go on. I'm going 61 39 Pulp Fiction. Okay, okay. Cool, 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 cool. I, I really like Sleepers. I do, and that is going to be my vote. I'm going to go for sleepers. It's really close for me. Are you joking? No, it's. Re- I'm telling you, it's really close for me. He's telling you. I'm. I'm telling you. Well, I'm a bit yeah. Surprised. She no, I, You're going to yeah. I, I think about when I when I first <laughs> when I used to sit in my room and play FIFA and have a film playing. I never played Pop Fiction. I had it on VHS. And I never did, um, because I, I felt like when I'd seen it, I'd seen it. And there was so much in it and so many actors and the music and the posters. But with Sleepers, I felt like I sort of found a little gem and it was mine. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I sort of watched it. Nobody else had seen it. And I don't know. I just feel like uh, there's a bit of ownership on it. I, I, that sounds weird. That sounds stupid. But that's how it feels. So I am going to vote for Sleepers. Oh. It's all down to you. Oh, well, I'm going Pulp Fiction. Oh, okay. And and you yes. knew, as well, soon as the I, draw I knew as soon as we turned the cards over... I love Sleepers. Sleepers is really, really, really good film. But there's something a bit special about Pulp Fiction, I think. And what is that And I love John Travolta as well. Not that that's the reason, but I love all the little scenes. I love, I just... The way it jumps around. All around, yeah. I just, there's something I really love about it. 
Especially on the dance floor scene. It's definitely Samuel Jackson's best yeah, role. Yeah, it's a really good film. Well, I like Die Hard 3. I think, so. it's, I think it's the first time I ever saw him in a film, I think. There was a teenage wedding and the old folks wished him well. <laughs> and it's funny. Uh, I'm so glad we ain't the <laughs> Yeah, I know. It's funny that, you, that when you think about that scene, they, it doesn't. Um, they they start dancing, but it's very. It's quite short. It's short, yeah. But it's, but it's so iconic, it. them yeah. two dancing. Steve Buscemi. On, yeah, as Buddy, Buddy Ollie. Ollie. Yeah. I can, yeah. Do, I can do the dance. Yeah, it's great. It is great. You can dance. Yeah. <laughs> Um, she's, like that, you she's doing the dance, and it's probably a good thing you can't see her. <laughs> it's a um, good thing you can't see. So there you go. So Pulp Fiction is going through two uh, one against Sleepers. Are you disappointed, Bob? Well, no, no, no. Uh, oh, these are right. bo- yeah, these are two great films. It's lost its three 0 thing, though, isn't it? Yeah, true. true. Sleepers. There he goes. Sleep. Sleepers is gone. It's a, it's a great film, um, but Pulp Fiction. Yeah, you're right. It's, it's got a lot. It, it's just got a lot in it. If you don't like one scene or one ca- ca- actor or character, or y- y- there's so much more to yeah, it. You, because I'm not massively into fugs and blood and all fugs, that. Fugs, yeah. You know, pugs. Fugs. <laughs> no, I'm not into all that sort of thing, but you don't have to be to like this no. film. No, it's true. It's true. So we've got our first semi-finalist. Pulp Fiction. Oh. Pulp Fiction in the semi-finals. So that is it. Uh, Pulp Fiction is through 2-1. Sleepers is out, unfortunately. Great film. Um, if you haven't seen either of these films, make sure you watch them because they are brilliant. Um, and thank you for your diary, Dave. That's As right. always, That's always right. a pleasure. Um, can't wait to hear what comes up soon. Uh, thank you for being rubbish at Pauline versus Bob. Pauline? Well, you you always top the answers. Don't stand I could I could have said I could have said anything. Chihuahua. I could have said anything, couldn't I? Think about it. Such a bad loser. Oh, she is. I'm she? a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> she was. She was winning, and she was a bad winner as well. Right in my face, kicking me in the shins under the table. Be careful. We're no going to invite comment. Michael back. You sure about that? <laughs> New. Uh, so we're going to end on a song. Uh, Cody West. Uh, we played one of his a little while back, which I really love. But this one's his new one. Uh, Stop right now, it's called. And uh, we shall see you next time for another random draw and another diary and another Pauline versus Bob and everything else that we bring to the table. So we'll see you later. See you later. Bye. Bye. Think about my shit at the weekend. Now I got some time. Anything I want to go do it. It'll be just fine Even late at night when the phone rings Or someone's at my door You could come to me, no problem And I'll make you scream for more Knock, knock, knock Got somebody knocking at my door Don't know what they want Not sure if it's me that they're looking for This ain't right for me, don't do that This ain't right for me, I won't do that But I'm not so sure Got somebody
I'll be back.